The women's NCAA basketball tournament started its first four round tonight. And in a couple of weeks, the final four will be played here at Target Center. WCCO's Red Clayton got a look at how Minnesota's Native American community and will take center court. The tournament will take place on Dakota land. The women's final four is coming to Minnesota. Anytime there's a national event in this state or others, we want to ground it in the place and in the original stewards of this land. Jesse Stomsky Syme wants this event to be a launching point for Native American athletes. March is my favorite. She serves as general counsel for the Prairie Island Indian community. In her playing days, she starred at Tartan High School, did the same at Wisconsin, was drafted into the WNBA, and played overseas, but says nothing compares to the speed and energy of basketball on the reservation. There's a passion around the game that you can feel when you walk into the gym. That's why Stomsky Syme is disappointed that just 0.37% of NCAA athletes are Native American. Oh, yell it out, yell it out. I never would say that a Western education is is the the answer to all issues because it's certainly not but it should be an opportunity for kids that want to pursue it and playing at the highest levels should be an opportunity for a kid who can she and her committee have been working with the NCAA leading up to the final four part of the result over 200 indigenous kids and families will get free tickets to each game if you can show kids and kids can experience and see the final four for themselves they can go back into their communities and start to dream it and start to work towards it. During the games, there will be halftime shows and videos bringing attention to Native American communities, plus a clinic for players and for coaches so all are better educated. We'll have one athlete there who went to boarding school herself. She's from the Navajo Reservation, and then she um, ended up playing Division I basketball. But, you know, this is not history in the way that I think uh, a lot of people perceive it in the Prairie Island Indian community. You know, we want this to be where Minnesota tribal members can feel pride. Ren Clayton, WCCO 4 News. Stomsky Syme says that part of the reason native basketball players don't get recruited is many live on reservations, which are often far from major metro areas.